about 25 minutes the whole damn session. You know, you understand? Take right. care of business. Let that dish build, and then you unleash everything tonight. Unleash everything tonight. Your spots. Bucks on three. One, two, three. Bucks. Play for each other. Play hard. Play fast. Let's go. Get a win today. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Welcome to the Blitz. This week, the Manteca High Buffaloes host the Turlock High Bulldogs in Week Four action. Go. The Buffaloes enter this matchup undefeated. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs, they enter on a two-game skid, and these two teams met last season with the Buffaloes edging the Bulldogs out by eight points. Turlock looking for pre-league redemption, while Manteca looks to keep the momentum rolling, and they're gonna do that with the help of their All-American running back, Blake Nicholson. Let's see how the game plays out right here, right now, with the Friday Night Highlights. Buffs with the ball first, and to no one's surprise, Blake Nicholson gets the call. That's a five-yard gain, and Nicholson again. He gets a pitch, and he picks up 10 yards and a first down on the far side of the field, and it doesn't take long for Manteca to hit the end zone. Nicholson, a three-yard touchdown. Less than five minutes into the game, Manteca is up, and Manteca, they would keep their foot on the gas pedal because Nicholson, he does a little bit of everything. Here he is with the halfback option pass, and he delivers it to Diego Esparza. That's a 48-yard gain, and he's down at the 16, and that leads to a Bryson Davis five-yard touchdown run. He's across the end zone. He has found pay dirt, and Manteca, they're feeling good. That's a high-powered offense for sure. But it's not just the offense, the Buffalo defense is on point too. Cole Gilbert, he gets sacked by a pack of Buffaloes on third down. And again, we open the second quarter with a sack on fourth and two. And so Manteca takes over on Turlock's 29, and it only takes a handful of plays for Nicholson to work his magic. He's weaving, he's bouncing, he's running, and he's into the end zone. That's a 27 yard touchdown and that's 21 unanswered points for Manteca, and it looks like the game is getting out of hand. And that takes us to Turlock's third possession, and it's second and 36. What's Gilbert gonna do? Well, he lets the pickskin fly, and he finds Peter Mello in stride. His first game back all season, and he picks up 78 yards down at the one, so close. That leads to a one yard touchdown by Gilbert over the top. And Turlock is on the board with 9.06 left in the half. But that is just a speed bump for the defending D3 champs. Manteca's offense continues to roll. Davis takes the ball from the 24 and carries it all the way into the end zone. But that flag calls it back. And so four plays later, he notches a four yard touchdown instead. But hey, Manteca's doing well, but don't count out the Bulldogs on third and 10. JT Foreman explodes, untouched for a 67-yard touchdown and what was looking like a runaway game is now a two-score affair. And we're gonna rewind that real quick because this is the play of the game. Not just because of the impressive speed Foreman is showing or the fact that no one on the defense touched him, but this is the play of the game because this kept Turlock in the game. At this point, Turlock was feeling deflated but after this run, the Bulldogs, well, they had a lot of hope in their systems. But as they did last week against Central High, Turlock allows a momentum swing after a big play, and it hurts them. On the ensuing kickoff, Davis fills the kick at the 24, and he takes off. He's got vision, he's got speed, and everything else he needs. He takes the ball 58 yards down, and he stumbles all the way to the 18-yard line making for an easy six yard touchdown run from Nicholson. He will not be stopped. He's into the end zone, another touchdown for that kid. And as we near the end of the half, we get some more turnovers on the stat sheet. First with Manteca's kickoff team, they take advantage of an unaware Bulldog return team and they get the ball. But on the very next play, another turnover. This one from Manteca's offense, a double pass. Elijah Cota with the catch and release and he's intercepted by Andrew Johnson. Now, Turlock needs some momentum, and are they gonna get it? Well, by God, they will get it. Gilbert connects with Mello, a 36-yard pass. Ooh, he trips on a blade of grass. And a few plays later, Gilbert delivers a dart to Foreman. 
out of the backfield. That's an 18 yard touchdown. And we missed the two point play, but Turlock cuts the lead to 13. And that will be our halftime score after Turlock closes the half with a Joshua Weatherby sack. Ooh, taste the turf. And that's the end of the first half. Now, before we continue with the highlights, let's recognize our sponsor, realtor Michael Rocha. Are you a buyer looking for that perfect home? Are you a seller wanting top dollar for your home? No matter what your real estate goals are, if you're looking to win in this real estate market, Michael Rocha is the realtor for you. So contact Michael Rocha today at 209-485-5228. You can also find him online on Instagram and on Facebook. Bulldogs open the second half backed up at their own five where Gilbert picks up a first down and some breathing room with an 11 yard gain and tack on an eight yard pass to Foreman, recovering from a high snap, and this makes it a third and short situation. Turlock gaining momentum, but it ends with an interception. Coda with the pick and the stick on Gilbert. And that's gonna lead to a quick Manteca touchdown. Three plays after that interception, Nicholson is in the end zone with a five yard touchdown run. But Turlock does stop the two point attempt right there with a nice, group defensive effort. And on Manteca's next possession, the Bulldog D steps up on fourth down with a Hudson Wyatt sack, and they force a punt from Manteca's offense for the first time all game. But the Buffalo defense returns the favor. A fourth down sack on Gilbert Mason Gibson, notching that accolade. And Manteca takes over, and on the first play of the fourth quarter, Nicholson puts a stake in Turlock's heart with his fifth touchdown of the night a 40-yard touchdown run, an All-American player with an All-American play. And if you think you've heard the last of number 20, you're wrong. After a block punt and recovery by Aiden Marshall, who takes the ball down to Turlock's nine-yard line, Nicholson scores his sixth and final touchdown of the night. In just nine days, he'll be deciding between Oregon State, Florida State, and UCLA. He's that good. And with backups in for both teams, Manteca notches one more score with a six-yard touchdown run from Marcos Ramos. Manteca shuts out Turlock in the second half and moves to 4-0. This season, we have a lot more talent. I mean, first half, we kind of let up a little bit, but second half, we turned it up and just started playing our game like we usually do. Of course, the goal is state, but I mean, um, I think it's just to improve on all the stuff we had last year and just build upon that. We played DeMonte Ranch next, and that's all the way in Nevada. So, I mean, we're probably just going to keep playing our games, to be honest. That's like basically what we do, just play our defense, and it's going to work, which, I mean, it did more in the second half. The first half, we could have had room for improvement, but it was still all good. A lot of hype surrounding Manteca, and specifically their running back, Blake Nicholson. And after watching them Friday night, I got to say, they are the truth. Blake Nicholson, 23 carries, 207 yards and six touchdowns. He practically carried the entire game himself. And his teammate, Bryson Davis, nine carries, 45 yards and two touchdowns. As for Turlock, they didn't quite keep up in the rushing game. Their leading rusher, JT Foreman, five carries for 70 yards and one touchdown. They did, however, get it done through the air with Cole Gilbert, the quarterback, going 13 for 29 with 227 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. And if you look at the overall team totals for offense, very close game. Turlock, 324 total yards, while Manteca recorded 370 total yards. In the end, though, the yardage doesn't matter, the points do, and Manteca was never in danger of losing this game. They are now 4-0, and and as Nicholson said during his interview, they're getting ready to travel to Reno to face the Monte Ranch. As for Turlock, they are 1-3, and three, and they will also be on the road heading to Concord to face Clayton Valley Charter, a tough team from the East Bay Mountain League who finished second in league last season just behind De La Salle. We'll catch back up with Turlock in a couple weeks when they face crosstown rival Pittman High in the Harvest Bowl. As for Manteca, we'll catch up with them in the final game of the season when they face their rival, Oakdale High. As for the Blitz, we will also be on the road once again. This time, we'll be at Ripon Christian High as the Knights host Denaire High in the first game of Southern League play. We'll see if the Coyotes have what it takes to take down the Knights and extend their record to two and two. 
You can find that game as well as all other past episodes of The Blitz season one through 10 at TurlockJournal.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter if you follow at Turlock Journal. So until next week, I'm Frankie Tovar. Thank you for watching The Blitz.